Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I am back today with a different kind of video. I wanted to try this. I'm actually a little bit under the weather today, so I'm staying home. And uh, I just wanted, I still wanted to try and put a video out, <clears throat> even though I'm not well. And I figured what I could do is just show you around, even though I'm not completely finished with all my layouts of my luxury goods and stuff, I still thought I could just show you my luxury wall that I've completed in my studio so far. And I thought I'd give you a little show of this area. I did put a post on Instagram just telling you that, <clears throat> sorry about my voice, I preferred a more minimal look and what I meant by that is I'll throw in a picture of what this uh, console table used to look like in the room it had a lot on it they were all considered my treasures and my husband's treasures and we just um, had like jewelry and photos and little bowls and stuff but it was really kind of cluttered so uh, I've just preferred this kind of minimal look I am, you're going to see me, I am so gross. I just have a top top knot and in trackies and sweats. But obviously you recognize this position. This is where I film from most of the time because it's just beautiful natural light behind me. I'm going to just show you a few things. This is an armoire that I got from Target. It's just white, love that, really simple. And it's got all of my jewels in it all my jewelry gets pretty much put in here uh, I can do a video tour on it but my god it will take so long so we got L&M we got HRH collection we got a lot of that some Jerusha jewelry in here my Jerusha necklace Swarovski earrings from Colette Heyman things like that all my gold from my mother-in-law is in there my watches so that's my own why if you're looking into jewelry and sort of expensive jewelry and knickknack storage these things are really really great and it's a great full-length mirror too <clears throat> in my videos sorry about my voice the mirror in the back was from a furniture store called Fantastic Furniture here in Australia. It was on sale for $25. So it's just that kind of molded Victorian shape on the edge. It's white, which we love, of course. So that's the mirror. Back here are my wedding photos. This is in a beautiful Vera Wang Wedgwood frame. We got a lot of these gifted for our weddings and it was just beautiful. So I always tend to have them out. That is my L&M Coffee Comes First mug, which I actually need a coffee right now in it. My beautiful Chanel The Vocabulary of Style book, which my brother got me for my 30th birthday. And then stacked on top of that is the Megan Hens, Hess, sorry, The Dress, which uh, Westfield Bondi Junction gifted me in, uh, this year. Then I have some flowers, of course. A lot of people were concerned on that Instagram post that it was too bare, but I hadn't really finished. These are just some white hydrangeas from my garden. The season has started. This is in a really cool kind of hexagon uh, shaped, all different uh, shaped uh, vase with a beautiful gold foiling diamond. That is from Kiki K. Uh, yes, the stationery uh, company, but they do do... Uh, some vases and glasses. Just on the bottom here I have a couple of magazines, the Elle magazine and the Harper's Bazaar. I've got to read those. This is my Toiletry 25 in monogram print. It is usually always up here on display mainly because I try to keep it close to my key pool. They are sort of like sisters. And then my bag of the day always sits here. This is my Armour PM in Demi Bin. You probably see me rocking this a ton on Instagram of late. So that's really just the bag of the day. So this, I will show you where it would sit in my luxury wall a bit later. And then behind that, I just have some boxes. So my new Chanel glasses box, uh, this little Dior box. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know why I kept that. Um, and then a Chanel bag from the beauty counter. Oh no, that's all my Chanel sunnies came in. This console table is a glass 
uh, display console table from Ikea. I am going to put all the links for the Ikea furniture in the bottom bar of this video so you do know. Ikea do really great standard white furniture. I mean, yeah, you have to build it, but I just think all the white is fantastic that they have. And then on the bottom I have, this is my Chanel boy bag box. <laughs> uh, the boy bag's not in it, but that's its box, which I purchased from Fashion File. My Christian Louboutins, which I purchased from Barneys.com. The boots, they're my only pair. Uh, the box and the boots are in it, uh, but they're there. And then my Keepall 50 bandolier, vintage Keepall 50 bandolier, which you see in the back of my video. So that's sort of what I've left it at, and I'm really kind of happy with that, actually, <clears throat> because it's just sort of minimal. There's no stuff in the little display shelves where they used to be. So anyway, let's move on to my studio. I'm not going to show you the studio. I'm just going to show you the luxury wall, hence the reason what this video is called, because that's what I have finished. So let's go take a look at that. So here we go. This is it. You've seen me film <clears throat> in front of here a few times. I obviously took it out. It went to my office. I filmed there. You saw that. And it's come back and I've reorganized it. I can't really show you my whole, the rest of the studio on the right of me because it's, well, it's a dump. I've just finished this area and I want to go over my luxury wall. So yeah, this is what you walk into um, on one side. Starting off straight away, this is <laughs> this is Franziska. I don't know if you guys have seen that post on Instagram a long time ago. She is my uh, she's my well, she's actually just a torso, but she's my mannequin bust. I guess that's been with me ever since the beginning, ever since two thousand and one. Um, we named her. No, that is not my wedding dress. A lot of people ask me that all the time. No, it's not. It is a piece <clears throat> of lace, <laughs> um, a roll of really expensive uh, lace that I had and I just literally draped it. So real couturier, it's draped around uh, the form and just pinned. So it's pinned in the shape. I mean, I guess I would, I, if it was for a customer, I would then sew that up and make it into a dress for them. But yeah, it's just beautiful Chantilly lace that I absolutely adored and I wanted to display it. Behind it is a, um, actually a really famous artist drew the, artist drew this. You can see it's a butterfly on the back of a heel. Can you see that? See if you're looking from the back of the high heel and then there's a butterfly attached to it. Um, his name is Mark Schwartz. He's a um, New York uh, really successful New York artist. I had this piece auctioned at the launch of my boutique. If you've ever seen that video on Instagram, it's actually my, tra oh sorry, if you've ever seen that video on YouTube, it's actually my trailer to my channel, the opening um, launch party, which happened to be on the news because it was a massive auction for my godmother as well. They auctioned this off and my godmother actually won it and then donated it back to my boutique and it was so beautiful so it stayed there for the three years that I had my boutique. And then in this corner, this beautiful, <laughs> shout out to my subby Jocelyn, she sent me this, <laughs> this gorgeous little Barbie. Everybody always sees this, they're like, you've got a Barbie? I'm like, no, one of my subbies sent me this little fashionista Barbie and I've never taken her out of the packet. So thank you so much. Anyway, so that's kind of that. So I finished this. I finished it two days ago. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen a little sneak preview of that. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so at the top, I've done more box situation. There was boxes there before, but I've just stacked them a little higher, a little neater. Now, a lot of people put boxes up on display and they take their bags out. Because you can see I'm a little bit restricted with the space we have here, I just have this one IKEA unit. I mean, I could build out the whole wall, but because this is <clears throat> currently a development property that we're working on, I'm not sure I wanna do that. So we have my boxes, they do have bags in them. That is not good, really. 
it's okay if you don't have the space like me, you just get them out and you air them out every now and then, but you shouldn't technically keep your items in boxes just because they don't get airflow, they don't get circulation, the canvas can get really taut and can crack and over time and it's not good. Um, so just air them out, obviously use them. I turn my bags over weekly so that's good. So in these boxes, these are mostly empty, like shawls came in those, <clears throat> cosmetic case came in that, um, multicolor came in that from Hong Kong. My Matisse Hobo is in there, I've just traded it out for my Alma. Behind that is my Montaigne in a box, a shawl box, and then my GST is in there. A lot of people ask me, where's your GST? It's in there. So it's in that, and that's just a shopping bag on the top. Behind there is my Gucci bag, the shopping bag, and the bag is in there. Below that is Mum's new Speedy B30, and she didn't want the box, and then she, I told her she has to save it in case one day she <clears throat> might want to sell it. You should always keep everything. Then the unit, again, I'll link it from Ikea, because <clears throat> you girl ain't going to try and pronounce the name of any Ikea furniture, just saying. Uh, down here, real quick, you want to be looking out for a new video. Remember how I keep saying there was a video I filmed in here? Well, ding a ding. I want you to look out for that. It will probably be the next video I put up. But let's go over this quickly. So here we have my Neverfull pochette, which I got from Stacy. Hi Stacy, a subby. Um, so it's just the pochette in Damier Ibin, and it sits there. Um, and then this <clears throat> was a box, I think it was my Toiletry 25 box. But what I did, which was better organization, is I put my sunnies in the box. Because I don't like them sitting out, and I'm not going to get a sun sunglasses display, obviously. They're just nice, tucked away in the box there. And then, yeah, so... That sits there. That's the first pigeonhole. Um, shout out to BJ Taylor too. Hi, babe. This is my jailed mini pochette. She hates it. She hates that I just case this. Shout out to my gorgeous, gorgeous friend Jacqueline. Hello, being me. She gave me this idea because <clears throat> she shadow boxed a collection, a screen print, the groom screen print collection. So I got that idea from her. So that's the illustrate. Um, Illustrate collection in the mini pochette. My mum got me that from Surfers Paradise, so it always stays shadow boxed. Uh, here we have my um, coin purse with silver hardware caviar leather from Chanel. I just love this box because if you did get a jumbo now, it's in that matte, you know, the magnetic matte colors boxes. So I love that, not the not like this shiny old style. So I really love that box. Behind it is my Louis Vuitton office. You've seen me show you this in my uh, one bag tag. All of my receipts, proof of purchase, old agendas, keys, locks, all go in here. It's my Louis Vuitton office. I always have to have it handy and near me. So that's what I decided to show in that pigeonhole. So moving along here, these are my guest watches. Yes. I have had a bit of controversy on them. I have got a lot of hate, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm sure they've dated and the big, you know, um, you know, zhuzh watches aren't that much in anymore. And that's fine. But these watches are just my life. They mean so much to me. Each watch means so much to me. Um, so I will always have them in my life and um, display them proudly. So I made, <clears throat> made this frame... Sorry, I bought this frame from a dollar store, put cork behind it, put some nice wrapping paper, which this is like a velvet burnout wrapping paper, put draw pins in it and hung my watches on it. Moving down, I just, of course, had to have my Speedy B, my beautiful Speedy B 25. A lot of people have asked for an update on this bag. Um, an updated wear and tear, an updated review. I, <clears throat> I want to do it. Uh, I want to go over it because, well, I mean, I know my Neverfull is my one bag tag, but this is definitely my most used handbag that I have. You know I rave about it. You saw my last video 
showing you what I most used while I was renovating and this was my best friend. <laughs> so that is my Speedy B 25 in monogram print. Moving on to what took me as the biggest surprise of my life. I bought this bag from Fashion File on a whim. You saw the unboxing of it. I was not planning for it. I saw, I saw the listing. I saw it was a single flap jumbo and I jumped on it. I had got my GST and it was coming. So I wasn't raving about getting this bag. I just sort of went, oh, you know, I've done it for investment purposes. And now I have to tell you, it was the best thing I ever did. A single flap is so light. It's so easy to carry around. It's my go-to black bag. It's just unbelievable. So my a single flap jumbo from Chanel, caviar leather, gold hardware. I have it sitting on and actually a Westfield Bondi Junction magnetic box because it fits in that perfectly. I didn't get a box with it. I only got a dust bag, so I pop it in there and that works really nicely. I probably have, I would say about four bags or three bags from Vuitton that I would never get rid of. And this is one. You saw my very first uh, collective haul with my Neverfull and my Eva. And they just mean that the emotional connection to these items means so much. So this is my beautiful Eva Clutch monogram print uh, from Louis Vuitton. And behind it, oh, that's a really good question. What is behind it? <laughs> Ah, that's so funny. I had no idea what's behind it. That is my toiletry 19 box. Serena put a beautiful bow around it. And it's sitting on my, actually my card, my cards that I get printed, uh, my business cards. It makes for a perfect little stand and then I know exactly where they are when I'm going to, you know, a function or I need them quickly. So that's a good idea is you can always prop up boxes on little items as well. I said I would just leave it here to show you, but this is where the Armour PM will like lives. I'm obviously using it at the moment, uh, but that's where it would be. And it's just my Armour PM in Damiri bin, which I showed you. There is its stuffing. When I'm using the bag, its stuffing will always tend to just sort of go behind it. Uh, so it's neatly stored. That is the second row and then <clears throat> sorry the bottom two rows I knew I wanted to have my boxes displayed with my small leather goods because I alternate between shutting them and opening them so they have airflow but this time I wanted them to just be stacked really really neatly before I had them stacked accordingly to style so this way is a bit better most of this the, I know those three are belts I know a lot of those are clays a lot of the, a lot are empty, trust me guys, like a lot of boxes are empty. Some are just boxes that like say mum didn't want or my husband's wallet. So uh, yeah, they're my smaller the good boxes. Over here we have my, <clears throat> I don't know how to say it, my uh, clutch, armprant clutch, aka my armprant twin set. Jeez, I wish they just kept it. I wish they paid. I wish Vuitton paid a copyright fee and just kept the twin set because that's such a cool name. So my armprint twin set is in here. Yes, it's not necessarily good because it's not being aired out, but that's fine. Uh, I'm probably going to use it next anyway. And there's nothing behind it. It's just the box for the twin set. And then we have the beautiful boy, my Chanel Le Boy bag in it calf skin leather with uh, ruthenium hardware uh, again from fashion file and I am paying homage <laughs> I'm paying homage to fashion file by having their um, Sarah gifted me a few of their actual branded item things a few pens this is an emery board and I just love it so I just leave it there for fashion file and I've just lifted it down, but the boy was actually sitting on this one, and they are my two espadrilles, my Chanel espadrilles. I still have my canvas pair, which I don't really wear. I'm not going to lie. I've worn them once. And then my leather pair, my lambskin black, all black leather, which I wear religiously and adore them. 
Uh, I think I worry too much about the canvas in the beige color, so that's probably why I don't get a lot of use out of them. Okay, so that's that little cubby. <clears throat> then we have my beautiful Neverfull GM in monogram print. The patina is just life on this bag. On it, I have my beautiful Hawaii bag charm, which my gorgeous friend Kevin um, Louis V83 gifted me. And then I have it with the hook from Motto that my beautiful friend BJ Taylor gifted me. And that just oxidizes so nicely sitting out here with any lights or anything. So there is my Neverfull in all its glory. It is currently stuffed with the Samorg bag organizer, then it has stuffing in it. And it fits perfectly in this cubby uh, slotted in sideways. On this side I have my white Chanel boxes. This is, I did a haul, uh, a mall haul I think from Bondi from Westfield. And that was beauty in there. Um, my Mademoiselle twist spray perfume came in there. And then they came in those bags. I love the white Chanel beauty bags because it reminds me of... 31 Rue Cambon bags in Paris, the actual fashion bags are white if you shop there. It's kind of novelty. And then we have more SLG boxes. Most of these, I kind of know what they are by eye. And then if I don't know what I did, which I've shown before, is I take a Polaroid of the picture either a picture of the item itself or I go on the Louis Vuitton website to get a really good picture of it and print it out and stick it on the back just so I know what is in each box so I don't have to sort of fuss around. Oh look there's a clay uh, in the wrong spot. And uh, yeah so that's a really handy tip for any wardrobe organization I'm sure you've heard of it before to Polaroid on the back of your boxes, no matter what they are, even your handbags. Moving on to the next cubby hole, the most questioned bag as to where it is <laughs> and what's happening with it is my vintage double flap Chanel bag. There's a Polaroid. My vintage double sh flap Chanel bag in lambskin leather with gold hardware, plated gold hardware. I do not use this bag. I wouldn't really even use it as a clutch. A lot of people just tell me to use it as a clutch for weddings because I'm going to a few, but I wouldn't anyway. I don't know why it's not getting any use. I bought it as a gift for my wedding, so it's got sentimental value and it's genuinely got value because they all they do is go up. Uh, so I'm just sitting on it at the moment. I'm just holding. I'm not sure what I want to do. And then the last cubby hole is just more SLGs. These are more of my kind of delicate ones. So I know that this is my Emprunt clay on the top. And then my multicolor business card holder, which I'm thinking of selling. <laughs> FYI. Um, and then my um, Emily wallet. So I know that those, what those items are straight away. I don't need to look at the Polaroids. So that is it. That is my luxury wall uh, content for now. Maybe I can do updates on this sort of videos. Tell me if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. A little going over. I know it's nice to, you know, always see us or YouTubers on videos, but also it's kind of cool to get a video up like this every now and then, just going over things like, you know, hanging out with your friend. <clears throat> And being under the weather, look, it's just not cute, okay? <laughs> so that is it, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I do want to announce my Naked Pearls winner, finally. It's come through. I had two winners drawn on randomnumbers.com, and they, didn't, they both didn't respond. Then I drew again, and this gorgeous girl, Miss Chanel Brooks, I will leave her image here, won the Naked Pearls. <clears throat> she also has a YouTube channel. She is just so incredibly cute. Uh, so congratulations again, Chanel, and I hope you love your Naked Pearl. I am not kidding you when I say my next video is going to be in this room from when, before we renovated, I've mentioned it a hundred times. 
I'm getting emails of like, what is this about? You know, we want to see this video, backdated video. Uh, but trust me when I say, just get ready, okay? Guys, hello in the corner. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope everybody is doing really well. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace. Just